All right, hello lovelies, happy Wednesday. Let's go ahead and make sure you have some water nearby. And, uh, and we'll get started on our routine. So it is a very cloudy, rainy and gloomy day here. So that's very kappa like weather. If you're following along with the Ayurveda part of the program, Kappa is the element of earth and water, so it's cold and damp and heavy, and, uh, and that's exactly how it feels outside. So we're going to go ahead and do a routine that's going to help us shake off all this kappa. <laughs> okay, so let's start with our feet hip width apart, knees soft, and just kind of let your shoulders relax. Let your feet sink into the floor. Take a big breath in. Filling up the chest and exhale. Let your shoulders fall further away from the ears. And again, big breath in. Try to fill up the belly. And then exhale. And gently contract the core. One more time. Big breath in. And exhale. We're going to add movement to this breath. So now inhale, arms come up overhead. And then on the exhale, palms are pressed together. We're going to slowly roll those elbows down to touch the knees. So blow all the air out. Shh. Almost like you're skiing. And then inhale, roll it up, arms overhead. So exhale, elbows to knees. Shh. Let the head and neck go. Slowly round it up. Inhale. And again. Let the head and neck release. Inhale, arms overhead. One more time. Inhale, come to standing mountain pose. Palms together, feet together, knees slightly bent. And just hold it here. Really feel your feet press firmly into the mat as you're reaching your arms up, squeezing the biceps, pressing those biceps close to the ears. Now exhale, we're going to go ahead and go into a chair pose. So you're going to sit back, hands can come to the thighs, inhale, arms up. Exhale, chair pose, hands either come to the thighs or fingertips to the floor. Inhale. And exhale again. One more time. Exhale. Now stay here in your chair pose. Take a big breath in. If your hands are on your thighs, that's fine. And then exhale, extend the legs. So we might still be a little stiff. You might not be able to go into a full extension. And that's fine. Keep the knees slightly bent. Let the head and neck go. <sighs> Breathe in this pose. And then bend the knees, hands either on the thighs or fingertips to the floor. And inhale, come up. Open up your feet so that they're hip width apart. And then exhale and just swing those arms down. Again, just shaking out any kappa energy that we might be holding on to. Let's do three, two, and one. Let your body relax. Just hold it here. Big breath in. Exhale. Spread the fingers. And then shake and release. Again, inhale. Spread through the fingers. Exhale, shake and release. And one more time. Inhale. Exhale, shake and release. Great job, guys. So feet are nice and wide. Knees are bent. And we're just going to swing those arms side to side. Again, we're not forcing anything here. Just let momentum carry your body. Here's four, three, two, 
two, and one. Relax again. Sink into your body. Breathing, hold it here. All right, grab some water if you need to. Straighten up your mat if you need to. And we're gonna go into a wide stance. So nice wide-legged pose here. Knees and toes both facing out. And we're gonna do some sunbursts. So reach those arms up, and then on the exhale, bring them down to brush the floor. Inhale, come up. Exhale, brush the floor. Inhale, come up. Two more. Really warming up through the hips. And hands to heart center. Let's go ahead and switch our weight over to the right side. Big breath in. Big breath out. Come on up. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, come into that low squat. So you can keep your hands, hands on the thighs. You can bring your elbows to your thighs or fingertips to the floor. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hands to heart center. And shift your weight over to the left. And just hold it here. We're going to do that again. Adding on a little more. So inhale, come up. Exhale, squat low. Inhale, come up. Now exhale, go into a warrior two on the right side. And just hold it here. Breathing in. And breathing out. Again, breathing in, shoulders relaxed, arms are strong. Breathing out, leg is strong. Make sure you're not leaning forward like this. You wanna keep that chest lifted. We're gonna add a little movement. So inhale, straighten the legs, bring the arms up. Exhale, fall into warrior two. Inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two. And one more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two. And stay here. Squeeze the legs, pulling everything in towards the center of the body. Big breath in. Big breath out. Now come back to center. All right? <clears throat> Hands are overhead. Big breath in. Exhale, come into that low squat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two, on the left. And just stay here. Breathing into the body, feeling the arms strong, feeling the legs strong, the core is strong, neck is relaxed, jaw is relaxed. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's add movement to this. So inhale, lift. Exhale, sink into your warrior two. Inhale, lift. Exhale. And again. So really planting those feet firmly into the floor. Exhale. And one more time. Breathe in. Exhale. Hold it here. Come back to center. Arms overhead. Exhale, come into that squat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two on the right side. Hold it, big breath in, big breath out. Now inhale, lift. So you're gonna straighten your warrior two. Exhale, sink back into warrior two and stay here. So if you haven't noticed, we're adding progression, okay? So we're gonna turn this into a sequence. Inhale that front arm up and over, and then exhale, come into your side angle. And just hold it here. So get a good stretch here, all along the side of the body. Really enjoying how it feels to be in this pose. And it's challenging, no doubt. You're gonna start to feel that front leg really engage. That top shoulder might get tired, and that's okay. Breathe in, breathe out. Now inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale, really sink into the pose. 
come back to center. So arms overhead, exhale, come into that low squat, inhale, lift, exhale, warrior two, on the left side, hold it here, big breath in, big breath out. Let's go ahead and lift the warrior two, so inhale, straighten, exhale, sink into the warrior two, inhale, bring that top arm up and over, and then exhale, come into your side ankle, and hold it here. So we're going to stay here for a little bit. Give yourself some time to really feel your body in this pose. Notice where you're tight. Notice where you're compressed. And then as you inhale, inhale into those compressed parts of the body. And as you exhale, imagine lengthening with the exhalation. Keep the core engaged. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, come in, into your warrior two. Exhale, really sink into those legs. Come back to center. So inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, come into the squat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two on the right side. Hold it. Now inhale, lengthen your warrior two. Exhale, sink into it. Inhale, top arm comes up and over. Exhale, come into your side angle. Hold it here, big breath in. And big breath out. Now inhale, again, we're gonna go into reverse warrior so that bottom arm now lifts up and over. And then on the exhalation, we're gonna cartwheel the arm all the way down to the floor, pivot on the back foot. So we are in a low lunge here. So try to keep that knee off the mat if you can. If you absolutely have to bring the knee to the floor, that's fine as well. But breathe into this pose and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, and breathe in, and breathe out. So now we're gonna lift into a forward lunge so just come up and then sink into your lunge here. Breathing. And exhale. Getting a good stretch in that front hip flexor. When you're ready, exhale, come back down to the floor. Now take that front foot, step it back into a downward dog. And hold it here. Getting a good stretch in the back of the legs. You can tread through the feet here if it feels good. <clears throat> now, on the exhalation, come into all fours without letting the knees rest on the mat. So breathe in here. And then exhale, lift. We're going to do that two more times. So breathe in. Exhale, come into all fours. If you can, keep those knees off the mat. And then lift. One more time. Hold it as you inhale. And then exhale, lift. Gently walk the feet up towards the hands. Keep a nice bend in the knees here. Let the head and neck go. And just kind of enjoy this forward fold. When you're ready, inhale, arms up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Face forward again. So we're going to repeat that on the other side. Grab some water if you need to. Adjust if you need to. We're going to start in that nice wide stance. Body is relaxed. And let's inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, come into the squat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two on the left. Inhale, lengthen and straighten this warrior two. Exhale, sink into warrior two. Now, come into reverse warrior. Exhale, come into that side lunge. Hold it here for just a second. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, reverse warrior again. Exhale, cartwheel the arms all the way down into that forward lunge. 
and you can stay here. Breathing in, breathing out. Again, if you want to drop that knee to the mat, you can. This will give you a deeper stretch in that hip flexor. We're going to stay here for just a little bit. And then when you're ready, we're going to lift into a forward lunge. Again, getting a good stretch in that front hip flexor. And then exhale, drop the hands back down to the mat. Take that front foot, step it back into a downward dog. And hold it here. Kind of tread through the feet. Oh, this should feel really good, guys. Breathe in. And breathe out. Now breathe in. Exhale, come into that all fours position. Knees off the ground. And then lift into downward dog. Again, breathing as you move. And lift. One more time. Come into that all fours. Knees off the ground. Give it a good squeeze before you exhale and lift into your downward dog. Gently walk those feet forward to meet the hands. Keep a nice bend in the knees and come up into standing mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Face the front again. Excellent. I'm going to grab a little water and then we'll move on. So again, nice white stance. Let me adjust my mat. So nice white stance. And again, just let your body feel loose, relaxed. This is about lengthening, releasing stagnation and compression. So we want to give ourselves these moments to just pause and really enjoy the benefits of the work that we're doing. All right. Also to give ourselves the opportunity to really sit in our bodies and feel what our bodies want us to feel. So inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, get into that low squat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two on the right. Inhale, lift your warrior. Exhale, go into warrior. <laughs> inhale, reverse. Exhale, cartwheel the arms all the way down to the front. We're in that low lunge from here. We're going to lift, come into a high lunge. Take a big breath in, and then exhale, bring those elbows down and back. So you really want to open through the chest here. And then exhale, lean forward, press those arms out in front of you. We're going to pull the knee in towards the chest here. So you're going to put all your weight on that front thigh. On the exhalation, you're going to pull that knee in, pull the elbows in. Yes. And then inhale, reach it long. So exhale, shh, and lengthen, shh, and lengthen, shh, and lengthen, shh, and lengthen. Let's do five, four, three, two, and one. Step it back. We're in that high lunge. Bring hands to heart center. Pivot into warrior two. Go ahead and lift. And exhale, come into that front squat. Let's do this again. Lift. Exhale, front squat. Lift. Exhale, squat. Two more, two more. Try to keep your chest lifted. I say that because my chest came down. <laughs> and last one. Lift here. Exhale, warrior two on the left. Perfect. Inhale, lengthen this warrior by lifting everything up. Exhale, sink into warrior. And then come into reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel the arms all the way down into that low lunge. Big breath in, big breath out. When you're ready, lift 
and come into a standing lunge. Hold it here. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Now exhale, pull the elbows down and back as you really squeeze the shoulder blades together. Open the chest. And then exhale, lean forward and lengthen the arms. So we're placing all of the weight on that front leg as you pull that knee in. Exhale nice and strong so we can engage the core. And then lengthen. Yes? We're doing 10 of these. So here we go. Shh. Lengthen. Pull the knee in and lengthen. Really strengthening that front thigh. Exhale, pull the belly button into the spine. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Step into that lunge. Sink into the leg. Big breath in. Exhale, hands to heart center. Open into warrior two. Come back to center. Hands to heart center. Yes. That was great. Heart rate is up. I'm sweating a little bit, and that's a good thing, right? That's releasing all of that kappa energy. So we're gonna slow it down a little bit. So big breath in. And big breath out. Wonderful. That felt invigorating. I'm so glad you guys joined me for this. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, this time keeping the palms together. Notice how I'm walking my feet in a little bit. We're gonna come into that squat and we're gonna bring the elbows to the inside of the knees. Adjust your feet as you need to. And this is called goddess pose. So we're gonna sit here and really let that tailbone just sink in towards the floor. Allowing gravity to lengthen that lower spine for us while we use the elbows to press into those inner thighs and really open up the hips from this angle. Press the palms together. Keep your chin lifted, chest lifted, and breathe. You can take your gaze down to the floor if that feels good. Allow your body to relax. <laughs> Great job. Bring your hands to the floor, keeping the feet nice and wide. We're gonna lift the hips up, straight up. Let the head and neck go, and we're just gonna go into a wide forward fold here. Keep a slight bend in the knees. Now if you want to, you can kind of heel toe your feet out a little wider so that you can really go deep into this fold here. Always keep a gentle bend in the knees. And then gently bring your hands back onto the floor so you can lift your chin and your chest. Heel toe those feet back together and then have a seat on your mat. We're going to go into some twists and rotations and then we'll finish off there. So we'll keep the class fairly short for today. <laughs> I don't know if you can see my dog, but I gave her a chew stick and she is going to town on it. She's kind of right, right in front of me, just out of the angle of the camera, but she's like slowly scooting her butt back. So you might see her here in a few minutes. <laughs> so just giving you guys a heads up. So in these seated folds, again, you have options, right? We're sitting cross-legged, nice and comfortably. You can keep your right foot on the floor in front of the left foot. The second option is to bring that right foot and set it on top of the left foot. So whatever you're comfortable with, just make sure that both of your hip bones are pressed evenly into the mat. So you don't want to shift over to one side. So kind of take notice of that and breathe in here. Breathe out, really let your hips fall into the mat. And then bring both of those arms up overhead. And then on the exhalation, we're going to twist over to the right, all right? 
and then take your gaze around your shoulder. And we're just going to sit here for a few breaths. So really enjoy this rotation, keeping both of your hips pressed evenly into the floor. Neck is relaxed, jaw is relaxed, eyes, forehead are relaxed. And then inhale, come to center, arms overhead. And then exhale, bring the hands to the front, and then just kind of sit here. And you can play with this. If your outside hip is really tight, you're going to feel it right here. If not, you can walk the hands out a little further and go deeper into the stretch. And again, always breathing into the pose. Finding the point of compression. And then on the exhalation, imagine just blowing out all that tightness. And that's where we start to relax the body. And again, that's the beautiful thing about yoga. I'm going to get on my soapbox here for a few minutes. But the beautiful thing about yoga is that we're strengthening and challenging ourselves while also giving ourselves the chance to really feel what it's like to relax in the parts of the body that are tense and tight. Go ahead and lift here. Now, take that top leg and we're going to extend it out in front of us. So the other foot kind of rests on the inside of the thigh, almost like standing tree pose. Yes? You can inhale the arms up and then exhale, fold forward. You don't have to interlock the fingers. I just tend to. And kind of reach for the foot. If you can't touch the foot, place the hands on the thigh or the shin or even the floor. And again, just breathing into the, that hamstring. And then gently lift and we'll switch sides. So now the left leg either sits in front or you can place it on top. And again, just kind of move some of the flesh away from the cyst bones. Inhale, arms overhead. And then exhale, twist and go into that rotation, taking your gaze over the shoulder and just sit here. Keeping that jaw relaxed. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to the floor. Find that sticking point for you. Remember, you can keep walking your hands all the way out until your forehead touches the floor. If you're having that kind of day, go for it. My hips are really tight right now. So I'm going to kind of stay here and really breathe into them. When you're ready, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, we're going to go ahead and extend that leg and fold forward. Again, if you can't quite reach the foot, that's fine. Just kind of place the hand wherever is comfortable for you. And there are some days where you're going to feel more flexible than others. It just it depends on, on what your life is looking like in the moment, if you've done a lot of traveling. You've been sitting in a car or an airplane, your hamstrings are going to be tight. If you've been running or lifting, doing a lot of squats, your hamstrings are going to be tight. And that's okay. That's why we do this. <laughs> so breathe into it. And when you're ready, come back up. Extend both of those legs out in front of you. And then exhale, fold forward one more time. So with both legs extended, try to keep your back straight. Tuck your chin in slightly. And again, we're just going to sit here for a little bit. Sit up nice and 
and top. Bend the knees so the feet are resting on the floor right in front of you. And then, and then let both of those knees fall over to the right, okay? That back arm is gonna rest on the floor. Front arm is gonna lift while we lift those hips up off the mat and give ourselves a good stretch here. Really lengthening all along the body and then gently come back into a seated pose. Bring those knees back up so that they're in front of you and then let them fall over to the other side. Back arm kind of rests on the floor, front arm lifts and then lift those hips up off the mat, giving yourself a good stretch here, lengthening all along the side of the body, breathing in and breathing out. And when you're ready, gently come back down to the floor. Excellent. Let's go ahead and roll onto our backs. So come all the way down. You can kind of relax here. Can you guys see me or is the dog in the way? All right. So we're going to give ourselves a few more hamstring stretches here. But before we do that, just kind of let your body sink into the mat. Let your spine just kind of align here. Let your head and neck get comfortable. Take a big breath in. And then exhale, pull the right knee into the chest, interlock the fingers and bring them to the shin. Now you can keep that other knee bent or you can extend and lengthen it, whatever feels good for you. And then slowly start to circle that ankle around. So big, slow circles here. And then circle it in the other direction. Take a big breath in. And then exhale, extend that leg straight up. Now if it helps you to bend the bottom leg a little bit, that's fine as well. Whatever feels good for you. Knowing that everybody's different and we're all different from day to day. And that is okay. Slowly bend that knee back down to the floor and we'll pull the other knee into the chest here. Big breath in. And then exhale, you can keep that other leg bent or extend it out. Slowly start to roll that ankle around, big slow circles. And circle it in the other direction. Again, big breath in. And then exhale, extend that leg straight up. You can bend the bottom knee slightly if that helps. We want to focus on the hamstring here. Focus on the glute. You might feel it a little bit in the calf and in the lower back. Breathing in. Breathing out. Again, breathing in. And breathing out. Gently let that foot rest onto the floor. Walk the knees in. And then pull both of those knees into the chest, giving yourself a good hug. Now flex the feet, lift them up. You can bring your hands to your feet and wrap your fingers around your big toe in a yoga toe lock. As you pull the knees in towards the chest and down towards the floor. So this is called happy baby. And again, you really wanna press your spine into the mat. You can rock side to side if that feels good but you don't have to. Just kind of breathe into the back body. Again, keeping the shoulders relaxed. And then gently bring those legs together. Let the feet fall onto the floor. Bring the hands to the side of the hips, palms face the floor, and squeeze the hips as you lift them up off the ground. Just going into a bridge here. Again, lengthening through the tailbone. 
and slowly bring it down one vertebrae at a time, starting from the top of the spine all the way down to the bottom. And relax here. When you're ready, roll it over onto your side and then gently lift up into a seated position. Get comfortable on your mat. Just in a gentle cross-legged position again, let the shoulders relax. We're gonna cool down here and then we'll finish up. So inhale, both hips pressed into the floor, exhale. Inhale the right arm up and then exhale, reach it up towards the ceiling. And then inhale, bring that other arm up and we'll switch. And then exhale, reach up towards the ceiling. Again, inhale, lift. Exhale, this time bring it over the body. Inhale, lift. Exhale, over, switching sides. And we're gonna do that one more time. So inhale, right arm up. Exhale, reach. Inhale, other arm. Exhale, reach. And then inhale, both arms up. Exhale, palms together in front of the chest. Interlock the fingers. Press those arms out in front of you, really opening up through the back here. Inhale, arms lift. Keep the fingers interlocked. Exhale, bring those arms down. Palms face the ceiling. And then reach back. Again, inhale, arms lift overhead. Exhale, palms together, hands to heart center. Interlock the fingers, round through the spine. Take your gaze down towards the floor. Inhale, lift. This time on the exhalation, bring the hands back behind you. Interlock the fingers, press down and away. And one more time. Inhale, arms up, press the palms together, exhale, hands to heart center, interlock the fingers, round it out in front of you. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hands behind you, interlock the fingers, press down and away. And relax. Roll the shoulders back, three, two, and one. Roll them forward, three, two, and one. Let your right ear just fall over to the right shoulder. Don't force it. Just let gravity do its job. You can take the opposite arm and press it down and away from you. Gently relax the arm. Bring it back to the thigh. Lift the head and neck. Take a big breath in. And then exhale, let the ear fall over to the other shoulder and just hold it here. If you want to, you can take that opposite arm, press it down and away from you. Just gently relax the arm, bring it back to the thigh, lift the head and neck. And just breathe in here. Breathe out. One more time. Bring the arms overhead. Stretch through the fingers. Exhale, hands to heart center. Bow forward, sealing the practice. Seal the practice today with an expression of gratitude for your body. For the strength of your body. For the flexibility of your body. For all of the wonderful, amazing, and beautiful things that your body does for you every day allowing you to enjoy this life. And with that, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up our practice. So once again, thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you enjoy these classes. And if you do, make sure that you um, tell people about it because I would love to connect with, uh, with more people. So blessings to you and namaste.